Hey, it's Steve from TechGrove. If you've ever been locked out of an Android device because of that frustrating FRP lock, you know how annoying it can be. In this video, I'm going to show you some proven methods to remove the FRP lock, and the best part is, these methods work on any Android device, no matter the country or brand. So stick around, and let's get that phone back in your hands. This information is for those who legally own their devices and need to unlock FRP. We don't support or promote bypassing security on stolen devices. Please respect the law and others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's community guidelines. Now, let's get started. First, go to safeunlocks.com, navigate to services, and select the FRP unlock option. Begin the unlocking process by entering your name and email address. Make sure this information is correct, as all unlocking details will be sent to this email. Then, choose the brand of the device you want to unlock. Next, enter your device's IMEI number and accept the terms and conditions. To find the IMEI of your FRP locked device, check the back of the phone or under the battery for models with removable batteries. Alternatively, the IMEI number might be printed on the SIM card tray, so you can check there as well. After verifying all the information, click the Proceed button. You will be redirected to your order, and you should receive an email with the unlocking information. Follow the steps provided to activate your order. It's recommended to watch the tutorial video for guidance. Once you complete the activation process, you will receive a membership ID associated with your order. Enter this ID in the Membership Identification box and activate your order. Ensure your device is turned off before doing so. Finally, you will receive a confirmation email indicating that the unlocking process has been completed successfully. Once you receive the confirmation email, restart your device to complete the unlocking process. You will see a screen verifying the information. After this process concludes, follow the entire setup procedure without adding any accounts and proceed with the device's default configuration. Upon completion, go to your device settings to ensure that no accounts are associated with the device. This will help you verify your device information and ensure its authenticity. It's important to note that the unlocking services primarily work in first world countries. If you can't access the services or prefer not to use them, we offer 250 unlocks every week for viewers who watch our videos. To participate, simply like this video, subscribe, and comment with your Android phone model, IMEI, and your country. Once you complete these steps, you will be automatically enrolled. This is a clear and concise way to join and unlock your device. There are several ethical and legal ways to remove the FRP lock from your phone. One method is to contact the original owner of the device and request them to unlock it using their Google account credentials. This is the simplest and most straightforward approach. Another option is to reach out to the device manufacturer or your carrier. They can often provide assistance with unlocking the FRP, especially if you can prove ownership of the device. Providing proof of purchase or other ownership documents can help in this process. You can also visit an authorized service center. Professionals at these centers have the tools and expertise to safely and legally unlock your device. They follow official procedures and ensure that your device remains secure throughout the process. Using legitimate software tools designed for unlocking FRP is another ethical method. These tools often require verification of ownership and follow legal guidelines to unlock your device. By following these methods, you can ensure that your FRP lock removal is both ethical and legal, keeping your device and data secure. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And let us know in the comments if everything worked for you or if you have any questions.